Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about diffusion and adoption of innovation. The diffusion is the process by which an innovation is communicated among the members of the social system over a certain period of time with different activities. Adoption is the mental phase. It is the phase in which the learner moves from first hearing of an innovation to its final adoption. Now you would be wondering what is an innovation? So in agricultural scenario, the innovation is anything that is newness. The newness of idea, it may be the newness of innovation, a new technology, a new implement or any kind of new activity or new kind of working. So we usually do so many researches in our research stations and the work of extension agent is to disseminate these agricultural technologies to its ultimate users that are the villagers. So diffusion is the activity through which we usually create a situation in which we tell rural people that how this new improved technology is beneficial to them. There are so many activities that include communication skills, in which we gain a common understanding. The word communication is derived from the Latin roots communis is to mean the common commonness. So communication is the process by which two or more people exchange ideas, facts, feelings, impression in ways that each gains a common understanding of the message. So in diffusion and adoption of innovation scenario, we have to use that communication skills to enhance our motive and to fulfill the reach of our innovation to the rural scenario. Now you would be wondering how communication skill is so many important in diffusion of an innovation and its adoption. So as you all know that our society is categorized in certain types of adopters that we call in extension language we call it like adopters category. So there are five adopter categories. There are five kind of adopters which we call the adopters category. The first one are the innovators, the second ones are the early adopter, the third ones are early majority, next are the late majority and at last are the laggards. So you would be wondering what are the innovators. So innovators are those in innovative farmers which usually adopt the new technologies at first. They are called as the torch bearers of the society. They usually are curious about the new technology or whatever the new things are being used in the world for the agricultural development. So innovators are those categories which adopt the first about the new technologies in the society. Early adopters are those people who usually adopt the latest technology right after the innovators have adopted it. After that, there are the early majority. Early majority of the people, when most of the people of the society adopt this new technology. The late majority are the people who adopt the new technology just right after the early majority people. And after that, there are the laggards. So laggards are the people who adopt the new technology at the last of the end. So what would be the percentage? The innovators are supposed to be 2.5 percent. These are the early adopters and these are the 13.5 percent. These are 34 percent and 34 percent respectively and the laggards are 16 percent. So the adopters category curve usually uh, comes under the bell shape curved innovators, early adopters, early majority, late majority and the laggards. The relative advantage of any innovation is the superiority of an innovation with the latest technology which it supersedes. So an innovation is supposed to be more adopted if it is relatively advantageous to the innovation it has superseded. 
In adopters category, the major adopters are those person who usually find that the relative advantage of an innovation is better than the previous they were using. The next one is the next one is the compatibility. The new innovation should be compatible to the society in which it is going to be run. The adopters usually attack to we, uh, use the adopters the adopters usually adopt those technology which are compatible to their society and which are feasible to be used in the society. So here in adopters category, these are the characteristics which are responsible for a new technology to be adopted soon as compared to the previous technology available. Thank you.